We are here and ready to chat with you and answer your questions, although really what we will be doing is reminding you of your own knowing. Let's begin. If I am always connected to the one mind, to consciousness, and I am consciousness, how do I answer the question of what is consciousness? or the reality of being human. You can, you can attempt to do it, but on the deepest level, the truth is that the mind cannot conceptualize it and words cannot describe it, but you can know it for yourself as an experience. The more you turn inwardly and the more you allow your inward space to expand, the more you experience yourself as the consciousness that you are. Most humans believe or think that their consciousness is in their brain, it's in their mind, it's in their head. And most humans also live with most of their attention and awareness in the head space. You are so much more than your head and you are so much more than your body. Your head, your mind, your body are all wonderful manifestations of the divine, but they are not the limit of you. You do not end at the boundary of your skin. The process though of Experiencing yourself as consciousness is not a mental one. It is an experiential one and it is deep, deep within, not in thought but in experience and in expansion. Thank you. So if I am continually trying, which is a terrible word, but trying to expand myself, what is the easiest way for me to do that? To not try to expand into the knowing to remind yourself on the not with the correction to remind yourself of the knowing either with your self talk but not to berate yourself or try to change your experience or reject your experience in the moment know that the kernel of every moment that you're experiencing even the ones that don't feel expansive is that consciousness you actually cannot get away from it what you can do is disconnect from your experience of it we mean your conscious experience of it because you cannot really not experience it at all. We remind you that it is a process of inward expansion rather than our mental cognition. Although we understand that for many humans, the mind's understanding of a concept is what opens the door to the experience. So we are happy to play with you in this way and answer your questions, but we remind you that our words, possibly our energy, but not our words, will not get you where you wish to go. They will help you to prepare the path for the letting go that is required for you to experience the expansion that is within you. Thank you. So if I am playing with the experience of consciousness and expansion, is it possible for me then at some point to be able to transcend all of the beliefs and stories and limitations that I have stored in my subconscious mind? Yes, but it is only as possible as you believe it to be. Okay. So everything then comes from the basis of belief. We, we want you to know that you create yourself afresh in each moment. It's just that you bring your past into the creation that you are building and creating in this moment. So it feels as though you have a continuing carrying of your burdens, but that is not what is true. You are continuously recreating yourself. The new you of this moment is not the same as the moment when we started this conversation. You are always evolving. You are always changing, but that is not exactly a process of growth and evolution the way you conceive of it you are new in every moment and that is why healing can be miraculous and spontaneous it is entirely possible it is a creation process a creation process a creation process and what you are asking about is the process of creating a fresh and creating a new without feeling that it is your past that is creating your present and therefore your future so in that respect, is it wise then to spend time in meditation in the expansiveness of consciousness, imagining and seeing and visualizing a future rather than letting go of the past? 
everything is advisable when it is expansive and joyous. Any action that you take for the sole aim of producing a different result than your present experience is going to have an element of force and pushing within it, and it won't get you where you want to go. There is no answer to your question in terms of it is better to do this, it is worse to do that, because it is a matter of the energy and the intention that you're bringing to the experience. You can think about your past in a way that is expansive or in a way that is contracting. You can think about your future in a way that is expanding or contracting. It depends on the energy, the attitude, the intention, and so many things. So it is not exactly about what it is that you are doing. Okay. It's more about how you are doing it. Okay, so everything really begins at the point of intention and the feeling state of the energy. Yes. Okay, so we're, as being a human, the awareness that I have to remember is what is the intention and the feeling state in all things. Say more. In all things, what I mean by that is that it's very easy to forget that we are connected to the one mind at all times. And it's easy to forget that we are energy because things happen in the human experience every single day. So we have problems or whatever, but what we need to remember is that at any given moment, we can change how we feel, which changes the energy. Yes? Yes. But we remind you of the state of children. Children are light and expansive and playful, and they do not need to remind themselves to be light and expansive and playful. As humans grow and develop and are influenced by those around them, including society in general, they take on coats that then then they carry, then they wear. They put on more coats and more coats and more programming and more programming and more limitation and more limitation. Those coats can disappear in an instant and it happens to you regularly. You sometimes experience moments of absolute joy, a laugh that catches you unaware. And in those moments, you are not carrying all of those coats. You are not wearing them all. But if you seriously and with responsibility and aiming to create a change in your experience in a serious heavy way decide to remind yourself that you are energy and you are lightness you cannot get to where it is that you wish to go it is expanding the playfulness the joyousness the lightness honoring those moments which is the opposite of what most humans do you tend to focus more on your difficulties and your hardships and your struggles than you do in those moments of expansion and lightness and joy follow the moments of expansion and lightness and joy remember them not because you are trying to change your outward life or experience but because it feels good it is a matter of remembering to follow what feels good, to make that more familiar because it is actually your natural state. And as you watch children, they want to do what feels good to them. And that is your natural state also. It does not have to be hard. It does not have to be heavy. But at the start, you are correct that because you are wearing all those coats, you forget. And so it's helpful to remind yourself, but we remind you that the energy with which you remind yourself and the intention that you set in the, we're going to say work, but it should actually be play of remembering this is what is going to ultimately lead to the outcome. Heaviness will not lead, lead you to lightness. It cannot. Okay. Thank you. So playfulness and joy, which is our natural expression, and following these moments is really what's going to give us the experience as a human that we are seeking. Yes. And mm -hmm. as your collective energy rises and as your individual energy rises, as the quality of the energy increases, it is going to become much more easy for you to grow through insight and expansion and joy. In the past, when the energy of the planet and humanity in general and the individual also was more dense, 
the process of expansion was more likely to come about through the experience of difficulty and some hardship. But that is becoming less and less necessary. There is a pattern of remembering that that is how you grow, that will be broken in time. But we bring it to your awareness now because being lightfully, playfully aware of that old pattern and reminding yourself regularly and playfully that you do not need to struggle, you do not need to suffer in order to grow, will start to slowly loosen the bonds that that old pattern has on you and those around you. So it's in these states of playfulness and joy that we release these patterns when we keep expanding and connecting. There was something that just popped into my mind there around addiction and addiction to things that we think bring us joy because they are an emotional trigger. So, for example, shopping, buying shoes or clothes and having an addiction to that feeling of that emotion just for that millisecond where really what we are looking for, what we are seeking for, is that just that expansive feeling of joy. So how do we remove ourselves from addictions like that? Maida began to read a book by a gentleman called Russell Brand who confirmed something that she had suspected. Maida's mum is an alcoholic, so she has had experience with intense addiction. And the book and Maida's thoughts were that addiction is generally experienced by people who are deeply sensitive. It is people who are seeking wholeness, who are feeling broken and wanting connection. And connection, deep connection with the self and the possibility of experiencing connection with others is the antidote to addiction. The problem or the Mm -hmm. issue arises when someone is feeling difficult feelings internally and they experience something that gives them a moment of relief. If there was a way to encourage that person to feel good within themselves without requiring a substance, they would choose that. And they do when they recover from addictions. But there is a feeling of this helped me before that continues the pattern. So when they feel bad, they reach for that over and over again. And it becomes an innate self-soothing mechanism, the way that a child may rock when they're not feeling well, when they want to start to feel better and the movement of their energy helps them to feel better. The substances that the people are addicted to do move their energy briefly and provide a feeling of relief in the moment, but it is never a full solution and more and more is required. But what they are really deeply seeking is love, connection, returning to home. Addiction is the result of the illusion of separation, as is most human pain. Yes which brings me full circle back to always being connected to the one mind and that feeling of expansiveness that always comes from joy, playfulness. So I think I am done. We wish to remind you and anyone who is listening or anyone who is watching that it is not difficult to connect with yourself You make it difficult and hard and challenging and for other people and not for you, but that is not the reality. We are here to help to cut through the idea that it needs to be difficult and we are here to remind you that it is actually your natural state and you experience relief daily. Even in the most difficult circumstances, there are moments where things feel slightly less difficult. Follow those moments. Follow that energy. Be mindful of it. Be grateful of it. Appreciate any sense of expansion and release that comes to you and work to build it. Get to know yourself. 
be the scientist of yourself. See what really happens for you internally. When something outside happens and you feel an experience, get to know yourself. Be your own scientist, doctor, healer, therapist, best friend. Learn how you work and you will be able to guide yourself with love into more of that expansive, playful, loving, joyful self, which is actually who you are. You are never not that. You play at being something else sometimes and experiencing something else sometimes, but nothing can take away the fact that you are infinite. You are divine. You are love. You are joy. You are abundance. You are all of the things that you are seeking. Otherwise, you would not seek them. The fact that you seek them is evidence of the fact that they are yours. You do not move towards things, expansive things that call you with that clean feeling for any reason other than they are already yours. You've just lost your way to experiencing that as a lived conscious experience, but you can find it. You can find it and you will find it. You, the intention is for you to find it and you are supported in the finding of it. Each one of you has energetic support available to you. And we ask you, what do you have to lose in calling it in? Ask to be supported. When you're in confusion, uh, don't just ponder the question over and over again. Ask for clarity. When you feel lost, ask for guidance. When you feel lonely, ask for connection. When you feel anything, you can ask for the opposite and be open to the experience coming in ways that are different than what you expect. There is support for you. There is love for you. There is everything that you require both within and outside of you. But you need to open the door for it to be allowed in because the universe cannot cram it into your system as much as it would wish to. It will support you in the opening of it. And if you want guidance, ask for it. It will come because you are loved and you are supported and you are an infinitely important part of the whole because you are the whole. We love you. We love you. We love you. Go well.